Today I'm going to show you how to build a DC motor controller with an IGBT. Now for this project you're not going to need too many components. I've got a DC motor, some hookup wire, an LED and a resistor, a potentiometer, and then here is my IGBT. Now looking at this circuit diagram, the first lead is the gate, the second lead is the collector, and the third lead is the emitter. So I have a 6 volt power supply, here's the positive lead and the negative terminal. And so let's build this. We're going to take a positive lead down here. And then what we need to do is we need to build a voltage divider. IGBTs are voltage con can be used as voltage controlled switches. And so that's essentially what I'm going to do. So a voltage divider takes get power coming in going through the resistor. Here's our first resistor. And then we have another resistor. And then we go to ground. So I need a wire going from the second terminal to ground. Now I've got I'll turn the voltmeter around. And then what we're going to do is we want to pick up right here. So this is uh, about 0.2 volts, and then as we change this resistance, then we can go up all the way up to almost the full voltage of 6 volts, almost. And so this is a 20,000 ohm potentiometer, and then I'd have to measure how much this is. We can do that now. So that's 118 ohms. Okay, hook this back up. Now, so what we want to do, the switching part is the gate. So that's going to be our input voltage. So we put, so I put the first lead right here at the voltage divider right in the middle. So that's where we're going to change the input device. Now current flows from the collector to the emitter. So we need a lead going from positive for power, the positive side of the power, sorry, to the middle lead, which is going to be that one right there. Okay. So now we need to look at our loads. Now here's a diode, or an LED, and we'll put that on the emitter to ground. It works. Okay, so I'm just doing the LEDs so that it's easier to see. So, but we can also power a DC motor. So here's just a little DC motor. And I'm going to put that on the same lead, which is going to be the emitter. I'm oh, sorry, the, yes, the emitter. And we're going to put this to ground as well. Okay, so the motor is off. And then if we uh, change the uh, resistance, the motor comes on and then we can change its speed all the way so that'd be six volts or we can run it slower. Part of this year the brushes are getting a little bit worn out so we have to sometimes I have to press them a little bit. So now we can check the voltage. Let's shut this off. We'll check the voltage. 
So I've got a little lead here going to the ground. And I'll put this over here so that it's in the camera view. Going upside down. So I'm going to test the right at the divider, which is going to be a test lead right there. And so we have zero point five two volts. Each IGBT has a threshold voltage that a minimum threshold voltage. When you meet that minimum threshold voltage, then it effectively uh, turns the transistor on. And so this one is at approximately a volt. Don't have it in contact. There, sorry. I'm doing this upside down and it's, uh, so that's in contact. We go back down. We go below a volt, the motor will not turn. Now as we gradually increase the voltage, because it's proportional, then the motor goes faster and faster. So that's how you build a DC motor control with an IGBT.